personal recovery is, is absolutely necessary for the Department of Defense and the HC-130, especially the HC-130J, uh, you know, has a big role in the future of personal recovery. The thing that helps the mission is the fact that we're getting a new airplane. We're replacing airplanes that were built between uh, 1962 and 1965. And those airplanes have a very low mission capable rate right now. Moving to the new airplane, it's giving us a chance to actually step to the airplane knowing that we're going to fly and go rescue somebody versus stepping to the airplane, breaking, having maintenance, spend a whole bunch of hours trying to fix it, and then still maybe not getting to go accomplish the mission. The missions are really exciting. They're anything from uh, airdropping personnel, where we have people that are jumping out of the back of the airplane, airdropping cargo, refueling helicopters. We also get gas from, uh, from air tankers so we can pass it on to other people or use it ourselves. That's another exciting new portion of the J model mission that we didn't have on the P model is being able to receive gas. I mean, one of the benefits is morale and knowing that when you get tasked with the mission, you can actually go out and accomplish that with the new airplane. You know, the, the bigger benefit, though, is to the overall system, to the Department of Defense and to the American people to know that when we get tasked with the mission, we can go out and complete that rescue. This mission is necessary because we go where people don't want to go. We go where people can't go. We have special capabilities that a lot of others in the Air Force can't help out with. We're always going to be in there first, and we're going to leave after everyone else. We're not going to leave until all of our buddies are picked up. I think it's important to understand what each person does and uh, how much goes into an operation from the, the guy dropping the bomb on the target to the guy sitting back, potentially just waiting to bring him home. I always said I'm like a overachieving full service gas attendant. Crew chief is probably the most important part of the plane. Without crew chiefs, ain't no flying. The pilots, sure they can fly, they went to school for it, but guess what, the plane ain't going nowhere. You know, we, we accomplished all the mission inspection requirements to get that plane off the ground. You know, he's the first guy that someone's going to come to, hey, what's wrong with the plane? Make sure the plane is good for the crews to go on the plane, fly the plane, and then after it comes down, anything broke, we fix it to get the plane back up in there. Reducing air power is probably the favorite part. Finishing marshalling that plane out and watching that plane come back, you know, mission complete. I think we bring a unique human component. Obviously, that's in every every weapon system, but we're the only dedicated rescue asset. I've jumped on both, and I, I think it's uh, great that we're advancing our capabilities with the J model. Just having a new and more advanced aircraft, with especially with the advancement in technology that's on board the C-130J model, I think it's very advantageous. It's an awesome airplane. Uh, more power, more technology, and uh, great situational awareness. Plus it's fun. <laughs> <laughs>